Dear students, now we are going to solve one important problem in 2-ray model. In the following cases, tell whether the 2-ray model could be applied and justify why or why not. In the first case, the height of the transmitter is 35 meter, the height of the receiver is 3 meter, the distance between the transmitter and receiver is 250 meter. In the second case, the height of the transmitter is 30 meter, the receiver is 1.5 meter and the distance is 450 meter. So we are going to analyze whether the 2-ray model could be applied for the given data or not. If it is not, what could be the reason? Do you all understand this problem? So in the solution part, first we have to understand the condition for 2-ray model. 2-ray model is accurate to its maximum value only for two conditions. So it can be applicable for large scale signal strength. Large scale means over the distance of several kilometers. Okay. The next one is it is applicable for tall buildings of height more than 50 meter. So here it is applicable for large scale signal strength and also the height should be greater than 50 meter. Okay. So whenever these two conditions are satisfied, we can get an accurate maximum result by using this 2-ray model. Okay. So here in this given problem, the answer is the 2-ray model could not be used for the above two cases. Here the reasons are the first one, the distance between the transmitter and receiver is 250 meter in the first case, 450 meter in the second case. So in both the cases, the distance is very less. It is in terms of hundreds of meters. But the 2-ray model is applicable for large scale signal strength over a distance of several kilometers. That is the first reason. The next one, the total height of the transmitter and receiver it is less than the distance here. The total height is equal to 35 plus 3 in the first case that is 38 meter which is less than 250 meter. It is far less than the distance. Okay. So in such cases we cannot get the accurate result using this 2-ray model. Do you all understand this concept? And finally we can declare that a reasonable accurate result may not be obtained using this 2-ray models. Do you all understand this problem? Next problem, find the Fraunhofer distance for an antenna with maximum dimension of 1 meter and operating frequency of 900 MHz. If antennas have unity gain, calculate the path loss. So in the solution part, first we have to write the given data. The operating frequency is 900 MHz. The dimension is 1 meter. And the gain is 1. Okay. So we are going to find out the Fraunhofer distance that is for field distance. And also to calculate the path loss. So first one the Fraunhofer distance. So it can be obtained by using the formula df is equal to 2d squared by lambda. So here we can get this value by using the formula c by f. And then we are going to find out the path loss of the given values. So here path loss is equal to minus 10 log of lambda by 4 pi d the whole square. So first we are going to find out the lambda value and substitute that value in this Fraunhofer distance and then we are going to find out the path loss. Okay. So first wavelength lambda is equal to c by f. c is nothing but 3 into 10 to the power 8 the velocity of light divided by the operating frequency is 900 megahertz. We can get the lambda value as 0.33 meter. Okay. Then the Fraunhofer distance is equal to 2 into d squared. What is the value of dimension? That is 1. So 1 squared divided by 0 0.33. We can get the Fraunhofer distance as meter. So next we are going to find out the path loss. Here path loss in terms of decibel 
that is equal to minus 10 log of lambda by 4 pi d the whole square. So we can simply substitute the lambda value and the Fraunhofer distance value here to get the value of path loss. Then we can obtain value as 47 degrees.